Ah, anyway, they're back. All right. Welcome back, folks, to uh, Rogue State Revolution, where we are, in fact, aiming to go to the end of the pre aiming to go to the end of our presidency. Because I believe we were told last week that only the presidency only ever goes to two terms. So when you hit our next re-election, win or lose, it's the end of the game. So we're basically going to be plowing through as much as we can to get to the next election. That was weird. Is that Beric's rant? Ber Beric was very annoyed by that. Beric was very angry by that because it kind of it kind of, it kind of ruined his entire play his entire playthrough. Get rid of his entire. It's sort of it's sort of put a spanner in the works for the entire suzerain playthrough. This one anyway. So it's not something. It's not. It's not a decision he can go back and change. Anyway, so what are we actually doing here? Because yeah, so we have pretty much put money everywhere. I mean, our income is now quite low, but our coffers are large. Um, we're still working getting some people over there. I mean, it's end of the turn anyway, but. So we're, letting, we're basically letting turns pass until we get to our election or until something else happens first. Uh, we'll help out with the... see if we can get the ASS to happen as well. Uh, we'll see if we can rebuild the... the um, if we can rebuild the, the, the clandestine site. They won't even let us pick that now, so we'll have to end the turn regardless. But hopefully we get something happening here. Karifi scholars in Karifi scholar Ibrahim Abed made bold and divisive statements on television last night, highlighting that the Karifi are a distinctly different group of people from Bethesda's ethnic centuries and should be granted greater autonomy by our government. He suggests that Karifi society remains suppressed and that Karifi still aspire for a free, independent nation to call their own. I'll debate you on national television. Excellency, if we the people of the debate appears the Karifi are more emboldened towards autonomy. Oh well. That went poorly. That did not go well for me. No worries. That is not a problem. That is not a problem for me. Right. You managed to repeal over time loans? That's fine. I mean, that's still happening. They've still got equal rights. Uh, revise. You could go all the way to, all the way to, to um, all the way to self-determination. I mean, what does Karifi... Karifi approval at the moment. Karifi approval is currently super high. Karifi approval is currently ridiculously high. What's Basenji approval like? Basenji approval is also ridiculously high. We could probably take the path of going down towards self-determination. Requires both Karifi decision roadmap and one city two nations. I am so tempted to do that. Um, first two must be carefully documented and understood in a neutral, impartial context so we may learn without failing the victim to end the cycle of persecuted and persecuted. A better Basenji requires us to move forward while acknowledging the truth of the past. Yeah, you know what? You're right. We're going for career self-determination. They love me at the moment, so... Hmm. Corrupted. Centuries of low loyalty... You say extensions of low loyalty. I've tried to do you, to improve your loyalty. We literally have veterans benefits on that, that randomly increases loyalty. You haven't had your loyalty increased. That is shenanigans, I say. Okay, that's... So we are producing enough food. That is not a problem. We are currently... No, we're not improving. We need to build some farms because we're not building enough food. Uh, the bauxite mine needs to get built. Build... Bauxite mine. Build a road there to there. And give that a bam. Tier 2, tier 3 bauxite mine. Because we're currently importing a bunch of bauxite. We can get we can remove a bunch of that from doing that. Because bot screw finally had, you had your you finally had your bauxite baby. Um we need to
They're importing a lot of stuff at the moment. Okay, fine. So we need to do farms as well. Let's get some farms up and running. Uh, where can I put farms? Karif only has three slots left. A farm is how many, how many workers on a farm? One. Okay, can I get a couple of farms down here? These are 90, 80, 75, 75. 95 there, 99 there, 99 here, 99 there. So, farm one. Yeah, yeah. I'll put two farms down. Sorry, I can run up to 10% lowest morale troops and shoot them while we have completed this is the fast way from the morale. <laughs> the beating shall continue until morale is improved. Uh... Cool. Still no BLF. Uh, journalism still can't do anything because the, the, the cities are all still have been visited by a journalist, so you're currently not doing anything for me. Um, so food's coming in. We can, we're currently exporting a bunch of plastics, which is fine in red commas. We're currently exporting that. We're currently exporting that. It's currently importing there. And our and our I don't know what's um, Where is the it's you, isn't it, Tabaj? Right, so what's everyone we're up to we're up to thirty-three again. We were at seventeen last term, we've already screwed up by thirty three percent thirty three yet again. We've got two points left over. Uh Diplomacy wise, you say hostile you say still still hostile to us. Ah, oh, hang on. I completely forgot. I've still got this is my sink of points. Next turn. On your instructions, your government has just passed a resolution permitting a referendum to be held in three months, addressing whether the Karifi should succeed from our republic. If a majority of voters vote for separation, the province of Karifi will become an autonomous nation. If they vote against, we will be even stronger as a unified nation. Ooh. Ooh. This is basically, among other things, this is basically do the English get to vote in the Scottish independence referendum? That's what this is. That's what this question is. Is do the English and the Welsh get to vote whether Scotland should be independent? Yeah, I'd say no as well. The only problem with saying no is I'm going to lose that tank up there, but I'm okay with losing that tank up there. Creefy, you're allowed to vote. That tank is now at zero. Again, this is interesting to see, because you're not... You, are you actually hostile? You're now BLF armor. Okay, you, you're actually BLF unit now. Damn. Uh, BLF mortar down here as well. Okay, we got... Hang on. Uh... Glorious leaders get a bit busy right now. Um, airborne. Yeah. Blow them up. There's also a BLF mortar here. And a BLF airborne. Really? Hang on. Um... What's my defense point? I've got one defense point. Fine. On our way. Right. It's gonna get. It's just, should have built a sand truck, shouldn't I? I'm an idiot. Should have built a bloody sand truck. That's you down. 
I'm going to disband. Are you sure you wish to disband this unit? Yes, Jesus, less loud, Yusuf. Mainly because you've got low in. We should probably like recycle my units if I have a choice, but. I've got a BLF Mortar in the middle there. I need to be able to deal with them soon enough. You. Airborne. Deal with them over there. Let's get this other line. Hang on. Okay, so we've been producing plenty of food. We are overproducing there again. We're overproducing there. We're still slightly overproducing there. That's still a problem. Are we using all our gold? We are definitely using all, all our gold. Because it's... Are we? 172 plus 278. Yes, 448. We're using all our gold. We're using, are we, are we, we're exporting ore, aren't we? We're exporting ore, so the problem is the smelter, not the... Uh, the problem is the smelter, not the... Not the mines, although we will increase our mines as well, because we totally need more gold. Alright, so we all, all that's left now is that BLF mortar. Can I get you over there even on an extended turn? I can, good. Drive over their armor. Now, everyone has, apart from the airborne and the sound truck, all my military units have one loyalty. So now we can finally see if the if this bloody veterans benefit is actually doing a single damn thing. All right, got our two points left over. Okay, so increasing our smelters running manufacturing plant. For that stuff is actually tier three. We can't improve any further. I have to build a new manufacturing plant. Build a new manufacturing plant. Put it over next. Must be next to a town. Really? Damn. Uh, put it there. You're producing aluminium. I'm going to give you a couple of tiers of this stuff as well. We're actually we're making no money. We're actually losing money. Ooh, or misses. In this case, we'll buy some safer annuities just to put us on the positive again. Next turn, we should be exporting some more of this then. Hopefully. One can only hope we can be exporting some of this next turn. Right. We have one more point to use. All this left... We cleared out the BLF, right? There's nothing blf here anymore. Nah, we killed all the BLF out. You know what? Have a baby. Go find out what that baby is. Okay, go over there then. Right. In three months, we have a current we have the Karifi referendum. Glorious Theater is just sitting quietly in the corner there. Now, we have infantry, armor, actually our officers are not learning that to, for a two-day period, water treatment plants in Karif experienced catastrophic failure. Many citizens will be ill from consuming water contaminated with dangerous bacteria. Blame this act on the terrorism by the Central Liberation Front. I mean, that's a lie. It's a possibility that we get the minus 10 there. Nope. If if my... Uh, we, we just blamed that on the BLF. Um, which means we, we, we get the loyalty anyway. Great. I can see we're requesting a market in Carrick. I can do that. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. So our profits are back up to 8. Are we now exporting? We're now exporting a bunch of that. Oh, we're actually working way more than we need. Can I... But the point is, now that we're splitting it up, we're importing gold now to make up the difference. We're importing gold or bars because a lot of the stuff is going to that. Um, damn. I mean, it's worked, but it means that we need to get ourselves more gold smelteries and stuff. Um, uh, do you have any gold mines that are not mines? Mines, 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 mines. 
Tier 3 gold mine. Tier 3 gold mine. Tier 2 gold mine. Tier 3 gold mine. Tier 3 gold mine. So all my gold mines are tier 3. Uh, yeah, all my gold mines I think are tier 3. Um, which means I need to get my smelters. That smelter's now tier 3. Where's my other gold smelter? I must have two gold smelters. Another gold smelter. Here's tier 1. You are now tier 3 as well. So that'll, that'll increase our gold production to hopefully alleviate some of that. Although we will also require um, more luxury production in the long term. That's already at tier 3, so I'll need another one of those. Oh, uh, they want a market. Let's get the market up and running. Market. Put you over here, I guess. Oh, that's why the America's annoyed with us. I forgot about that. I forgot that in my in my rage. That in my rage, I um I opened up the wing of American atrocities. I forgot I did that. Um hmm. Whoops. Can we can we try to improve it our 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 uh not that I'm actually trying to get to the end of my term. The embassy's not returning our calls. Okay. Uh in that case, we're allied with Russia. We need four SAMs to get to level two. I suppose. Um Share intel. Improves 10% relations with all friendly or like-minded nations. Use China's disinterest. Can I get China to... to... That's... No, that's not loud. It's... There we go. That's better. Uh, ally... Disinterested nations still. Okay. Rule of law is a nine. Domestic influence is going down because I just screwed up internationally. That's fine. That's... It's not fine, but it's okay. What's the problem with this plastic factories? There's a problem. Tier 2 plastics. Where's my plastics factories? That is a tier 1 plastics factory. That's now a tier 2 plastic factory. That's going entirely towards that. And you are the one that's doing the split. You're tier 2. Be tier 3. I think you, again, I don't need your favors, do I? No, I don't need your favors. So, give me some money for your favors. Um, okay, you are still moving over there. Two turns. Right. Uh, that's done. How is sound for you lot, by the way? It's also a problem that sounds a bit, maybe also a little bit too low, so I want to make sure it's not too low. Okay, that's a... I can't deal with that. I'm sorry, I literally cannot deal with that. Traffic there is horrible because there's a village in the way. I'd love to be able to deal with that. That's just not likely to happen. Good? All right. Get back over there. Airborne over there. Airborne middle of the map here. We'll armor, get back to Faya. The thing, this is just some Sams down here. I build four Sam. Okay, who's you? Um, automatically got tax and that flies into range. Okay, to each plea, it's on attack range. You automatically kill tier one and tier two helicopters. You can't attack anything else. That's that's what you automatically do. Not that I think we have any diff any danger of having a BLF helicopter turn up. It might just be a problem if the Americans decide to knock at our door. Right, you stay chill over there. Um, the production capacity, production capacity needs to be improved as well. Manufacturing plant or food. I only get the one. I got that one as well. That's tier two. That's tier two. Let's bump those up. Oh, sorry, manufacturing plants. Oh, that's food. Oh, those are both up to tier three. 
At the same time, we are vastly overproducing this. And we're only exporting 60 out of like spare 150 we have. So can I ex need to talk to some of my allies. Who am I exporting to? I'm exporting to you and you. Zarbil, hello. I would like exchange gossip. Okay, exchange, negotiate trade. I would like to improve my export on... Oh no, on... Uh, not on processed food, sorry. Who am, I, who am I exporting that to? Export to Kalshara as well. Kalshara's currently unstable. Where's Kalshara currently unstable? Damn it, Kalshara, be stable. Um, Call to you. Negotiate trade. And all my excess. You will buy all my excess. That's fantastic. May invade, unless we're allied with another superpower, or because we are allied with Russia, and that's stopping the USA from invading us. Because Russia likes us so much, the USA does not invade. Which is, you know, beneficial. Benifa, what's your traffic problem? Over here. That place is because it's a public garden. Well, don't go that way then. Um, right. We start working on improving our risk mitigation. We'll try again. So how much are we getting in return? 102. Wow, we've real. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. If I were, I'm not gonna. I can't do this now anyway. But if I were to do that, I could probably could get away with putting that balls up, everything up to maximum everywhere. Let's see, your public security is really bad, isn't it? Even with the massive budget, your public security is atrocious. Even with that, everything else, your public security is atrocious. Right. Criminal investigations have arrested Lucas Dvorak, a union hedge fund manager, for his role in multi billion dollar global Ponzi scheme. Billions of people and organizations have been defrauded of all their investments, including our own nation's government. We haven't had any hedge fund investments. Losing prosperity is a pain. That'll go away in time. The demand for luxury grows eight luxury goods every month. I'll try. I'm not really... We're having to import all ours at the moment. We're not producing enough. If you manage to... If I get more gold, I can do this. Because we're currently... No, this is going to be... This is going to be so tight. That are the sort of tier three. Um, I'm not going to do this. I'm just still checking. If I put everything up to maximum here... We still have a profit of 45 a turn. Jesus. But yeah, that's, he that's hedge funds. We, we had no hedge funds. All we had were safe... We have... We have nine... We have 900 invested in safe annuities, which can never go away. So, yeah, that's fine for us. That goes well for us. Yeah, another 100. I'm also going to go for a... Share assets to everybody who likes us. Makes them like us even more. You've got a quest here, so... The thing is, if I build... Who's... Airborne. You just chill as well. Uh, chill. You were heading there. You go on your way. Uh, move on your way. You'll do that. Okay. Now. Excellency. What have you got here, Bosk? What did you give birth to? More gold, which is vaguely relevant because we are currently using all of it. Construction mine here, though, is just possible. Barely possible. Done. We've got our mine in. Um, also going to again put that up to level three just to help with the pollution issues. Which means I need a smelter. Yeah, I've got the I've got the smelters. The smelter capacity is okay, although I'm going to need more because a tier three mine produces seventy eight, and I've only got capacity for another thirty seven. So another another gold smelter. Another gold smelter. Where can I put this? Gold smelter. 
Rumai can't do it. Be over here. It'll be a very busy area. Uh, gold bars, please. And then tier 3 as well. Alright, you gave us mandatory masks. Only useful during the epidemic. Sure. Fine. Uh, the difference with surveillance. Increase the public safety. What are you working on, Minister Decide? I know you specifically you don't want this. But... Go for that. Terrible idea. Well, what do you want to work on? Rural internet access. Fine. Work on that, then. You are minus... You're at 48. We've gone to such... We've gone to self-determination, so that's happening next turn of the turn after that. Um, still getting so much money. We've got the smelter in, which means that we need another, another jewel production place. Uh, manufacturing plant. We can take the plant. You can still you can still take the plant. We might have to export the damn stuff, but we'll put it over there for exportation then. All right, let's look at the. Uh... I'll put it on. I'll put, oh, oh god, that's that's. that's I'll put now. Yeah, never mind. Oh well. Uh, all right. So upgrade this road. 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 That's corner there. That corner. Okay, it's already big enough. Um, how bad is the one over here? Rough. That's bad. Okay, we'll upgrade that road. Is there is there a hotkey for this? Doesn't seem to be. We're making, we're making a we're making a kind of clear line of dual carriageway to there. There's dual carriageway heading over the down here. Technically, the exports to there aren't great, but that's not the threat. So we did that one. We've done this one. This is the, over here as well, and up there. That's not too bad yet. Um, two points left. Put two points into that. Let time pass. Hey, Sky Days! How's it going, buddy? Enjoying the cooler weather? Excellency, scientists have uncovered partial skeletal remains of nearly one of early hominids that predate where they were expected in the region by almost 100,000 years. This discovery will have profound ramifications in anthropology, but undermines much of the religious texts of the old ways. Give control of the site over the religious leaders. No. Uh, open the site to top scientists from across the world. Turn the site into a museum and tourist attraction. Declare Basenji the oldest civilization in the world. I'll take that. I'll take this one. I'll take that one, because I want the diplomatic influence. Oh, and I live for this cooler weather. I know, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, oh my god, this is so much better. I'm looking forward to it raining tonight. A stadium in Rumai. Okay. Rumai can't afford a stadium. The, Kora the Karifi referendum is today. Okay, hang on. What's, what's, what's my exportation like to Axtishan? Are we exporting? We're we expo exporting luxury goods. We're exporting to... Oh, am I not... Oh, oh, hang on. That may be a problem. Is that because... No, we are. Negotiate trade. Okay, I need to hang on. I need to. I need to. Who else am I exporting to? You, Kalshara, I'd like to negotiate trade down a bit. So we're currently exporting 40 exactly. I'd like to, exp I'd like to regrease that to 20 briefly. Just because it goes. Therefore, it can go both ways. Rain will have to take a blizzard after the heat we just had. Right? 
Well, to be fair, I think a blizzard in July would be a worse indication for global warming than this heat wave we just had. Okay, buddy, I'm going to put it here, but you're going to be upset with me because there's just no one per province in Ruma. Oh, so Ruma is up here. Um, and I've got a massive labor problem again. Shockingly. I'm kind of curious, can I... Oh, your defense. I think we're justice for some reason. Um, still no BLF, shockingly. Um, okay, so the sabers are there. There's gonna be a lot of problematics, problems with... Lo That's why our loyalty was low. Because we're, we're doing a lot of shifting of, popu of populations. Oh, well, okay, so... One, two, three, four. Come on, Karif. What do you want? Like, you love me. I've been so good to you. You're like the, one of the most professional nations here. My associate professor at the university is researching your role in the Basenji Revolution for an upcoming publication. She has uncovered some discrepancies between your accounts and those of your con contemporaries. Admit to embellishing the details a little. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, maybe we did a little bit, but I'll lose a little bit of approval overall. Ethnic Karifis have voted overwhelmingly yes. in favor of staying in Basenji. This goes a long way to disarming racial tensions in our nation. Oh my god. A totally free election and we swung it for us. Was there not an achievement for that? I'm, really surpri I'm surprised. I'm shocked it was an achievement for that. You are, yeah, you are a six-star hotel, aren't you? Yeah, proper six-star hotel now. Ah, oh, okay, so we've sol we've solved we have a problem in the right? Oh no. Manufacturing plant, what are you putting you're producing that? Oh we have plenty of spares. We're exporting way more than we need. Again, is that correct? How are you having issues? Luxury 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 goes what do you want? Luxury goods to Axe Tijan. Luxury goods. Oxygen. Eight every month. Dude, we're exporting 37. And by definition, we're only exporting... I, specific, I specifically said 20. God damn, what the hell? Kukosh are cunning. Was it? Are you are 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 you doing shenanigans with me, game? Game is doing shenanigans with me. I was. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna repeal that. We are definitely not exporting to them anymore. You're the only people we're exporting to. In which case, I want you to get all of it. If you're doing that, you're gonna need to get as much of it as you possibly get your hands on. I specifically broke a trade agreement for you. That's not a lie. I broke a trade agreement because the game was not letting me actually affect my trade agreement. Okay, so plenty. We are currently importing some of this. Our problem is with the plastics production. We have a uh, we have a uh, leftover of plastic. Sorry, a, a dearth of plastics. We are currently way over capacity on on uh, on many on the this stuff. So show where's the, where's the, where are my plastics factories? The processed food bit. Fine. This plastics is currently entirely household goods, and this one's doing the split. 
Oh, is this one actually not? Tier 3, Dungeon 1. Tier 2, Household Goods. Because you're currently getting 292, you're currently getting 278. So the difference between is not major. So we just need to produce more plastics. We could produce, we, we could do a lot more plastic production. Oh, sure. So oil export. we're currently exporting 150 oil, which is way more than we're currently using. Like we're, we need to export more oil. That's one thing I need to do. Hang on. Uh, I'm reading over here. Not here. Uh, budget. Budget is we're making so much money. Um. Okay. Um. So I need to get some exportation of household appliances needs to happen because we're barely using any. We're producing almost double what we need. Not okay, not almost double what we need, but pretty damn close. Um, we're like fifty short of double what we need. Even how oh, first Wakanda? Wakanda's doing extremely well. I literally just had the Scottish referendum go in my favor, so. Sorry, the Karifi referendum going in my favor. So you're producing all you can. 172. The other food production is here. 106. You're the ones lacking plastics. Can I import plastics? No, I can import oil. Yes, I need to export. I need to export. I need to export. Um, here. Negotiate. Take as many users as much as you can. So you're leaving the African Union next, or am I missing? No, uh, the ethnic Karifis. Ha uh, I gave them a referendum vote whether they wanted to become their own autonomous nation or stay with Basenji, and they voted unanimously, or pretty much close to landslide, um, into stay with Basenji. Not European. It's not a European referendum. It's the Scottish referendum. <laughs> Uh, has actually has actually stayed. It has stayed. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, the, this area here, Karif, voted to whether they wanted to remain part of Basenji or leave us entirely, and they voted to remain. So I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Uh, how's our loyalties? So far, so dandy. Okay, so what I need is I need. Fine, I'll build a bloody. Plastics factory. Where? Or am I building a building plastics factory? Um, I'm not sure why a manufacturing plant needs to be next to town, but mm, there you have it. We'll put you. We'll put you there beside the oil factory. Anyway, the oil factory. <laughs> it, it, it produces oil. Fine. Tier one. Tier two. Your tier two. Okay, so after that, we're also producing way more oil than we need, so we need to, ex we need to increase our oil exports. To Zarbil. Here, as much oil as you can get your, your booby little fingers on, please. And okay, everything's fine, everything's okay. That should solve next turn, because you're literally the only people I'm exporting my luxury goods to right now. Uh, in which case. Let's keep going with the space program. You, your loyalty just went down. Our intelligence agency has been destroyed in a brazen and devastating bombing that has left 145 people killed and another 305 injured. We don't have any details as to how it happened, but the Basenji Liberation is almost certainly responsible. Damn, they just blew up my intelligence agency. Go, cool. you succeeded. Uh, the one for household goods. I'll try. What's the issue at the moment? Beric with a raid! Kay, you're still alive! <laughs> a 
Uh, okay, let's see what's happening over here real quick. It's because of you, isn't it? It's because you give me grief. Because you're currently offline. There's still three workers short here. I feel dead inside. Oh. <laughs> it being yelled at. Beric, don't be mean to Kay. I know, I know, I know what you mean though. Like, the, the feeling that something you did has sort of like in, sort of caused problems for something else is a horrible feeling. It is an absolutely horrible feeling. Even if it was unintentional, it's a it's a very horrible feeling. The Windows OS. <laughs> you get to shout out yourself. Wow. I hate that. I can't stand the idea of people just watching over my shoulder as I do everything. What a. But at least here I get to choose exactly what I'm putting out there, and I could do I could not do it if I didn't want to. Um So you, you, you missed you missed the Scottish referendum, sorry, the Karifi referendum. I gave the Karif full self-determination rights to whether they wanted to become a, um, an independent nation or not. Our special agents have gained information about something that could change the history of humanity. Nemo Fwen Pride Pog Nemo Napog. Yeah, so I I uh, I gave the Karifi a full independent referendum whether they wanted to become their own nation or remain with us, and they chose to remain with us overwhelmingly, which is very nice. They also gave me the choice of whether I should let the rest of the country vote on their referendum, which is always a problem whenever it comes up over here, is because whenever there's a Scottish referendum, there's always a group of English people who think they should be able to vote on it. Not at all rigged. No, they love me. Like, I, I gave them as much freedom as I could give. As the game let me give, I gave them as much of their own self-determination as I could let them give. But because they love me, they, they, they wanted to stay with me anyway. To be fair, they are probably the second most prosperous um, region in my country other than Benifa. Freedom in Dhaka. To be fair, there was a lot of... There was a lot of um, something happened. I can't remember what it was. Something happened that basically made... Everyone dislike me a little bit. Why? I need more workers, damn it. I need more. Until that worker is solved, solved that factory is going to stay shut off. Um. Okay, let's think about what's happening here. That's fine, that's fine. Household exports to Zarbil. I would love to. I just need to make some more of them because I'm currently importing household goods. Um. I think I could smell rain in the air. Oh, please start raining. Please. I know it's been, it's been a lot cooler today. It's been a lot cooler today. My, my fan's even off right now. I can actually, I'm actually getting a cold breeze from outside. So I'm so happy about that. It just needs the bloody rain. You got Manchurian candidates. I can turn on I can turn on the Treadstone program. And start having my own little personal Jason Bournes. Rain equals bad. Depends where you are at the moment. I totally agree with you. I would not wish any more rain on Germany. But right now I could do with plenty of rain. Um, right. So what am I doing this turn? Oh, remember, like, at the end of the last episode, we basically said screw it and increased all the budgets to pretty much maximum and lowered our income to about a 10 and back up to 150. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. I need those workers to move over. I, I know it sucks to, to have a forced relocation, but you wanted this, Nazir. It was, this was your call. You wanted me to put a stadium here. And so I did. And for that reason, you now have a, a lack of that. I'm almost tempted to take the stadium down again. Can I turn off something here that I don't need? A good question. Can I turn off something that I don't need here to save on workers? Oh yeah, so America still hates me. America still totally hates me. The only reason they're not here yet is because Russia is allied with me. Because I, because I went to every single museum I had and opened up the uh, Wing of American Atrocities. Every single, every single museum I have now has a Wing of American Atrocities. Um, sadly, this is modern Russia, so it's not entirely nice. But hey, if the US is going to bomb me, 
that I'm um, that I'm playing at the right place. Oh, hello, me. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. We had some actually. We had some actually. We had some actual combat last last couple of turns, but you were too busy enjoying the beach. So, sorry, I was too busy enjoying the beach. Like old Russia, like a yeah. It was better. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm producing a, I'm not producing a bunch of extra food, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, the problem I have now, so I've got the, we did, we did the, the plastics, right? The plastics aren't the problem. Today's getting flooded out too. Remember how we, had, how we nearly had a damn pop? China, Inner Mongolia got a decade's worth of rain in one day. Over a third of that water came down in one hour. They had a dam actually burst. It's havoc over there right now. The death toll is currently lower than what Germany lost from floods, but they have a lot more missing. So who knows what the deal is? That's rough. I know that I know because there's a China has put a lot of power into hydroelectrics, and they've built a lot downstream from those dams. They've put a lot downstream from those dams. So if those dams go, a lot will get lost. A like it's it's like it, like it's they should think for example I don't think it's gonna be relevant in this game but for example I built the dam here nothing gets built down here it's probably gonna be irrelevant but I'm not putting anything down here just in case because a dam a dam going like water is heavy water is very very heavy and there is a lot of water behind a dam. A lot of water behind a dam. So yeah, oh, yeah I, need to, I need to see. Can I rebuild my um? I need to rebuild my, my intelligence agency. Can I build it here again? No, not this turn anyway. So maybe I'll give it a couple of turns before I rebuild my intelligence agency. I'm not really using it for anything at the moment. Um, my current temporal anchor is October three years ago. <laughs> Everyone lives away from dams. Changing that would have required people to move. For the yeah, but that's one of the so it's one of the things like that like you have to keep in charge of that. Like you wouldn't build if you put a if you put a dam right above a village, you have to move the village because if you don't, those villages are dead. I don't think of anything other than that. I'm not specifically other than waiting for actually. Hey, okay, let's have a quick gander. Oil, we've improved the oil production. Does anyone want to send me people? Like, I will take some. Uh, not, no, sorry, not those uh, immigration quotas. I've said I've increased all my immigration, all my immigration quotas by by several bits. I think. We have a bunch of immigration. Like, I'm totally in favor of immigration because I need workers right now. Yeah. I swear those numbers haven't changed. I swear the numbers of the, the, the numbers of immigration just have not changed the entire game. Zero workers needed. It's a lie. I need three workers. That is a lie. I require three workers. Better quality looking than Talshara? I doubt it. BS game. There's no way there's a better quality looking than Talshara than this in me. Talshara is currently unstable. No. <laughs> There's never a single dam where villages are... No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I have pissed off General Storm to the point where he goes... Yeah, you gotta get rid of him. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get shot. I think you're just gonna get removed from power by military coup. That's more likely, I think. I don't, th I don't think... Like, it, weirdly enough, I think that, like, Mr. Thumbs, on your playthrough, he's too honorable to go for an assassination. He's just going to force you from power with a coup, I think. I'm not sure how you go about doing that, because that game is not a game where you can make any decisions <laughs> in a firing squad. Who knows what happens after the coup, am I right? Um... 
I'm kind of I've got nothing else to do right now, so you know, let's work. Let's, how's the space program going along? That's better than last time. Seventy percent. Launch to resupply the ISS. Come on. There was a bike outside for a second there. Resupply mission to the International Space Station has been successful. You win some money. Is that the end of the space program? That's the end of the space program. The space program is now complete. We've done the space program. The, didn't particularly need the money, but sure. Like, tech? Gee. It's permanent. It's a services contract. It's an income of 200. It's an income of 200. It's 200 a turn. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm like, okay, sure, I mean, okay, then, uh... If we ramp everything up to max... We can put everything to max. Every single thing up to max. Government spending is through the bloody roof right now. Confirm changes. There you go. We're still earning, we're still earning more than we ever have before. And the best part is, like, even if we took away those 200, I could have still done that. I gained all, I gained more from that space contract than I gave from all my income tax. I don't wonder how that works, though, because we're, I know that if you go back to finance, we're earning more from progressive than we would have anything else, right? Because our average prosperity is nine, so we're earning 167 a turn. Proportional will give me 158, regressive will give me 129. Um, but it still says here that uh, 759 citizens are paying point, uh, 0.22 for Senji bucks. Which means, I'm assuming this is the average of the... Like, how does that work then? Because if, the, if, that's the max, if, that, if that's the maths it's doing, then what's the point of a proportional system? There's, there's maths here that's not being taken into account. I think I, I went into a discussion on Wednesday about how I don't like maths, ob obfuscated maths, and there's an obfuscated maths issue here. How dare you? <laughs> you kidding me? No, 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 no. I've gone extremely socialist. Screw you. This is what I want. In <laughs> cool. Health is now nationalized. Um, I can now afford to do that without even blinking. Entire health system is nationalized. Um, uh, citizenship. Karifi rights isn't even a thing anymore because they're already, they voted on equal rights. <laughs> What's well, not supposed to work? That's not how this works. That's not how real life, of course it is. No one has the balls to do it. No one's even tried. Um, honestly, okay, at some point now, okay, we're current, we've currently have a, an apologist cultural perspective of like, we've done we've done ugly history, we've returned what is stolen, we pay reparations for what was lost, we apologize to those who are harmed, we take ownership of our truth. Like, we've done that for seven years now. At some point, you have to be able to move on to conservationist. At some point down the line, you have to move on to conservationist. I'm not sure when that point is. But you have to be able to move on and like, and... Uh, okay, so... Just, can you please move workers into here, please? This is giving me serious griefs. Again, the turn hasn't stopped. I haven't actually let the turn pass, so... That's, Damn it, my, my action point sync is gone. Damn it. Um, what else is there? Address the nation? <laughs> we have no problems. At all. Um, I mean, what I can what I can do is bypass that problem entirely by building... Yeah, screw it. Instead of waiting for that to be functional. That's a, that's a tier 1 manufacturing plant. Percentage Corp, that can get destroyed. I'll build it somewhere where where there is workers for this. Uh, manufacturing plant. 
household goods. Has to be just to I don't understand why he's been doing some tongue, but fine. Jeremy's still opposed. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you're right. This should be a point, but I don't think it's now, but yes, fair. Good point, well made. <laughs> I just think that I've like, I've solved this country, right? This country has no problems. I mean, 99% approval, 99% approval, 99% approval, 99% approval. Like, in the capital, they bloody love me. Yeah, your problem is Minister Adad. I can't change that. Minister Adad needs to die at some point. That's the only solution we're going to get here. And the Karifi. You're conservative, religious. Uh, yeah, if you're liberal, you're fine. You love me. Essentially, resident, legal immigration, 100% approval. 71% approval because you don't like Adad. Phoenix Stan. It's Basenji. Basenji is a beautiful country. Basenji, Basenji. In... Okay, so I guess we just passed. There's nothing else for me to do. We're still technically one worker short there, but... We can hope for the best. <laughs> Next turn, I see if I, if I can rebuild my intelligence agency, that'd be good. Edlin Bilal. <gasps> okay. Here we go. It's still him. The moron's gonna run against me again. Okay. Election season begins in Basenji today. The I misheard that. Basenji Nationalist Party is seeking support for a third consecutive term. Violent extremism is rising on the home front, and support from the West is faltering. It's uncertain if the glorious leader will be able to secure the necessary votes. Fake news in office. Absolutely fake news. <laughs> what? I mean, I might get ousted by the US in a, some sort of coup attempt because they hate me, but the country loves me. At this point, my ally, my alliedness with Russia is going to think keeping me alive. I thought I had another two years. The young generation will love not care about World War II. Hmm. Like, you don't forget. That's the important. You don't forget. Forgetting is what you must not do. Because th th this is the entire point. If I go back to... Not citizenship. Yeah, citizenship. Conservation is you don't forget. You do not forget. But you have to acknowledge the truth of the past. You say, this stuff happened. Own it. Be aware of why that why that was, why it happened, what caused it to happen. Make sure it doesn't happen again. But sins of the father can only carry so much. I just realized actually my, my my roads my roads into the other countries aren't actually upgraded yet. I remember hearing, like a, like a long time ago, my geography, my geography, my history teacher told me that it's like, for something to become history, 30 years have to pass. I wonder if there's like a, a recommended, like, um, how long does it have to pass before you start to start apologizing for sins of the father? Also, 30 years for history means at some point real soon... Because 30 years ago was 91. Which means that the fall of the Soviet Union is probably getting taught properly these days in school. Because it wasn't, re it, it wasn't really taught when I was at school because it was too recent. And our, our history education ended... With respect to that, a lot of the stuff was, was ended up quite late. My history, my history education was a bit screwed up just because of the way schools work. Who won the Canadian-American War? Was there a war? I don't know. I, didn't, I, haven't worried, I haven't really worried about that part of the country anymore. That part of the world. 
We let them go and say be done with it. All your problem now. Again, there's not much for me to do here other than letting time pass because we sold every problem. We have gotten. We can put another farm down, I guess. We can put a farm down. Is there a place we can put a farm down? Put a farm down right next to the hotel. Hmm. Kind of when the 1812 war. Glitched out there for temporarily. Uh, that's, that, that's what, 90? That is 99. Okay, I can't put anything there. I'd love to put another farm there because they've got some really good farmland and they just have a lack of people. Uh, Karif has a lack of people as well. Uh, Karik has no good lands to. Actually, unless I put it up. Can I put anything upland? Now, everything down here has been completely drained because of the dam. 60, 75. That's all arid. So it'll probably be either Karif or something near, near... You know what? How much money does this give me? Not even that much. Fine. I'll put a farm right behind the... <laughs> beside the, the, the hotel. Certified organic food. Certified organic food. I'm, I'm half tempted to start building the, the clandestine side again. It's the point is we're not going to be able to finish the nuclear program until afterwards, but... I thought it was so annoying that, like, we started our nuclear program with a 3% chance of being discovered, and it happened the very next turn. The very next turn. Actually, what I'll do now, because I think the next election is win or lose, it's the end of the run, right? I'm assuming something happens that it... You get reset anyway. Uh, teachers are on strike in Sabah. They're demanding more money. Sure, get more money. XCOM 3%. Pretty much, I guess. That's kind of how it worked out in the end. Uh, okay, all the workers are in the correct positions. If all the workers are in the correct positions, you need to be rule internet access. Turn that on. Um, if all that's in the correct position, I can turn off force relocation. That's not required anymore. Um, which is rule of law. Anything else I want to change before we go forward? Nationalized healthcare, secular schools. I mean, to be honest, I probably wouldn't mind either way, because the old ways are fairly sensible. It's not a huge problem. That could, that could have gone either way. It's just that you gave me, because you're secular, you gave me the secular education. That's fine. Um, apologists will keep that for the time being. Travel bans. A, list of, a sizable list of undesirables are forever banned from entering the Senji. Will a few innocents get caught in the net? Almost certainly. That's what you get for having the same name as a terrorist. I guess... Yeah, I suppose that would have done it. I didn't actually check that work... Because that doesn't specifically say it means more workers get in, but... Hmm. Uh, defense, that's fine. Finances, that's fine. Guaranteed minimum income, progressive tax, natural resources, rationing power, green economy, that's fine. Foreign affairs, non-aligned prioritizing diplomacy, that's irrelevant. Justice, the least sucky form of policing. And the fair justice system. Which costs money, but again, you're you're solving that from all from I'm pretty sure that we've got everything we need. We're just waiting for the end of the game at this point. I've built everything I needed to put everything together. We're just waiting for the game to end. Mm, again, there's no. I don't. I doubt there's a BLF. There's no BLF. No one. No, no one dislikes me. Not, dislikes. Wow. No one dislikes me enough to be BLF. Uh, that's still running the edict of liberalism. I wish you could find out what the hell this was. Where's the cleric? Cleric the Viking. Cleric the Viking. We still kind of know what that is, unfortunately, because you can never get there. Words. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. 
I am voicing my thoughts out loud. Are we exporting everything we can? Yes. 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 And that's irrelevant. So we're producing so much extra is not really a problem. I and mean, we're, so, we're producing like a bunch of extra everywhere. That's fine. Our, we are spending all the money everywhere. We're still getting a massive income. Um, we could take a loan and immediately pay it back for, for fun. Uh, what's our traffic looking like? I've, every traffic problem I've solved, I've solved. Okay, let's put a souk there. We'll state hotel. He'll start working on you with it. Hotel Majimara is now a tier two hotel, has some valet parking. Um What I have what I have not what I uh, what haven't I built? I have never actually built a casino. I've never actually built a casino. Hang on, oh hang on. Uh rebuild my intelligence agency. Cool. We'll share some intel, because why not? Uh, we'll build a casino between Rastaris and Majumara. Let's just do it. Bet 20 bucks on a number showing up on a number showing up in a 3d6 roll. Return your stake if it shows up once, double if it shows up twice, triple if it shows up in all three. <laughs> Funds invested, returns on investment. Damn it, no! Better look next time. <laughs> you can gamble away all your money at the casino. Is there an achievement for that? Uh, hang on. So you're annoyed. Let's do the let's do the funny thing again, where we basically use you and we'll basically buy a present for you, so that. You like, that actually was an achievement for your consideration. Win over an angry minister with an expensive gift. Which worked out. You're not happy with my leadership. <laughs> uh, and gridlock. Create an extreme traffic crisis. That hasn't happened yet. I could make that happen very easily, but that hasn't happened yet. All I need to do it, to make an extreme traffic crisis is basically I cut out, I cut out this road, and I cut out that road. I mean, the only way to get from one side of the country to another is to go through that village, and that would create an extreme traffic crisis. Grimlock me smash. Uh, Justice Minister. Yes. Yes. Journalist. Fine. Here, you are now a... Decorrupting... Okay, we have no corruption, but there you go. Do I have actually... Does any sort of... Sign for corruption, no. Approval. Pretty much green everywhere. I remember when this stuff was all red. Attractiveness lens. The only, the only, nice, places in the, in the, the only nice places in the country are near the cities. Everything outside the city is crap. Um, pollution. Has actually improved because I put, I've got so much money, I've just improved all my factories. And we've got the green economy coming, ticking over nicely. Well... That's that, I guess. Now we just wait for time to pass. Unless they've got spe anything to specifically deal with. Any events that happen. Nature province in Saba. Why'd you have a negative one? What happened? Whatever. Fine. Alright, nature, pro nature preserve in Saba. Oh yeah, I could totally put you nature preserve right next to the airport. How about that? <laughs> if the plane misses the landing, it just crashes straight into the uh new policy unlocked as well, okay. What did you give me? We're going to build a wall. Permits construction of walls along our border. 
Where is that decision even made? Build wall. An extreme measure, walls are built on non-mountain border tiles and severely reduce the likelihood of a refugee appearing on that tile. No, we're not near 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 so we're for the Kalsharans, the Ta Taxtajanians, and the Zarbilians. Obviously. Uh, I start finding out some of these points, and so what are you are? You are a religious country, you are a climate change country. Diplomatic influence is currently at... We are an honest broker, we respect the custodian of international security, we are a fair country. Yeah, we are. Uh, address the nation, we have no problems. The only thing I would like to possibly fix is public security in Karif, but there's not much I can do about that. I'm not sure why there's everyone else, everyone else just has a higher base security, I guess. Everyone just must have, everyone else must have a higher base security, unless I put something in here that specifically lowers security. Because you've got a, you've got a casino to attend, contend with. I guess, like, still like, have like 200 spare power. Then Vikings from Orkney. In... What is Arl actually doing? In... In build a wall again, because you are yeah, you're conservative religious, so you're going to give me things like the, th the stuff I don't want, like citizenship tests and like air secure and um. That's probably what you're going to give me. Statues galore, put statues of me everywhere. Defense, you can't, you're still not doing anything. Nothing for you to do, nothing for you to do, nothing for you to do. You still got plenty to do. It's also good to know that in future, in the future, um, things like justice has way less policies compared to, like, for example, if I'd remembered that there are a lot of policies for, for foreign affairs, I would... Again, I didn't have the choice. I didn't have the choice. Foreign affairs was not one of the four ministries that were open at the beginning of the game. The game was open with development, defense, finance, and natural resources. Out of which... Development has loads. Defense has plenty. Finance has plenty. You have got less. I mean, so just this is the least, followed by natural resources. Citizenship has a lot as well. So you could probably put someone in citizenship at the very end of the playthrough and still get everything, whereas because A, you were the last one I got, and B, you're crap, this is going to take a long time to get everything. Yeah, anyway, might as well just wait for the elections then. We're still months away. You produce your organic turbine lubricant. Um, Mr. Butcher has been arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Naughty Badur. Not to drink alcohol. Bad for you. <laughs> that's not what I meant to say. That's not what I meant to say. You don't have to drink and drive. That's, that's what I meant to say. Of course you love to drink alcohol, just not while you're behind the wheel. Um, like, ah, oh, I'm angry at you now. I'm, I've gone down from 73 to 53, so I still, I'm still happy with you. Uh, no, why are you minus one? We will migrate back to where it needs to be working, please. Fine, you know what? If you don't go where I want you to go, I'll make you go where I want you to go. Like, if you left me an option, I would pay money to people have people move. I'll give them the relocation fees. I would totally give them relocation fees. How are we doing? Plenty, 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 plenty. There's nothing happening at the moment. We're just waiting for this to end. Uh, minus two. That's not what I wanted to happen. I don't want the, the opposite to happen. That's that's the, that's the that's the the diametric opposite of what I wanted. What is this? What's the problem here? Nine, eight, nine, nine. nine. Why are you leaving? Why are people leaving here? That makes no sense. Your education and in, they're so high that they're off the bloody charts for a second there. Uh, anything this turn? 
Nope. Minus one, minus two. Excellency, Kalshara and Russia have placed sweeping sanctions against each other. The private oil and gas company in Kalshara is seeking our assistance in subverting these sanctions by constructing a secret underground pipeline between Kalshara and our seaport. This could be this could be lucratively profitable, but if we're discovered, we threaten to undermine our relationship with all parties. Honestly, I don't need the money. <laughs> and we're a green economy, so we wouldn't do that anyway. Have I actually... Uh, I think we're on... Plus seven. Can you just have a... They all arrived at once. They all arrived at once because 24230 was exactly the same numbers we had last turn. Minus one we had last turn. So those seven all arrived at once. The, the, do all my immigrants arrive every year? Oh, January, maybe maybe everyone was born at the same time. All my immigrants arrive at the same time. They all, they all arrived in in, uh, in uh, Rumai. Hmm. I think the election's next turn. You gave me what did you give me? You gave me oil cartel. Cool. We're now part of the we're now part of OPEC, which should increase like. Oh, we're not friendly with the oil producing nations, which in this case is Kalshara. They're all unstable, but they're all allies. We've stabilized the region. We're we're we're, we're we are a diplomatic force in the region. I don't know, I have a tier 3 international airport there. I'm not sure why that didn't actually count towards anything. That didn't actually take any favor at all from the development people. Um, there's nothing I can build. Is there? You can build a contested site, but eh. We've built nature preserves, we've built hospitals, we've built hotels, stadiums, beach resorts, museums, public gardens, holiday places, casinos, universities. Solar array, wind farms, hydrogen. We've built every building that needs to be built. So, uh... We're exporting everything. We've got plenty of extra food. We're exporting... the correct number. We're exporting... the correct number. We're exporting the correct number. Making sure that we're actually not having any crazy... Oh, that was fine. Election time, I think. I think it's election time. Today, all Basenji citizens will go to the polls to cast their vote for the glorious leader of Basenji. If you lose, your term ends, and control of our nation is handed over to your rival. Unless, perhaps, you want to guarantee your victory. No, we don't need that. Last time, the rival got 12 votes. I love the fact, why am I still rural favoring and conservative leaning? What on earth has given you that? Like, what on earth has given you the opportunity that I'm conservative leaning? I've pissed off the conservatives routinely throughout my entire uh, presidency. <laughs> Jesus, buddy. Get something, come on. If you don't get at least a few votes, everyone's gonna think I, I stole it. Exposed. Hey, Donaty. Oh my god. He's gonna get no votes at all! Holy crap. People are gonna think I stole this. Congratulations on another four years, but we have a problem. The Basenji Gazette just ran this concession statement from your rival. So many of us fought and died to free our nation from the tyranny of despotic monarchy. I cannot in good conscience continue to serve a government that would behave in the same manner. Is there no end to this treachery? It gets worse. The Basenji Liberation Front will free our nation again, by force if necessary, and return it to the people. I call upon all citizens who love their nation to renounce the glorious leader and fight for a new constitution that represents the needs of both Basenjis and... What the hell?! Young and old, rich and poor, 
There's more, but I think you get the point. This minister is a goat-faced, dung-eating... Your Excellency, we are facing a second... Why? Civil war. I have every confidence... There is literally no indication in the game that that would have happened. I, I, can, I can accept. What the hell? Like, I can accept that that is a potential outcome. I thought we ended. I thought the game ended now, by the way. Are, are, we, are we still going? I thought the game ended after the re-election. Somebody lied to me. Not on the same scale as they did to you, Beric, but somebody lied to me. <laughs> what the hell? Second Civil War, everywhere is above 90%. I, think. I haven't seen the BLF for years. Hey, these, these lies are the... <laughs> these lies is the opposite. I wanted my game to end. I don't want to have to resign. <laughs> like, there's no BLF. There's no even... Up, there's, nothing, there's no sign of a BLF even able to turn up. There's no indication whatsoever of any BLF anywhere. At all. You just re religious education. Congratulations. I'm wasting my time, you are. Yeah, yeah, we'll go on that then. I mean, you're just gonna start passing turns now, because... They'll have... Give me an event that does something. A crazed lunatic found his way into the royal palace with a knife. Thankfully, he was stopped by palace soldiers. I've been released without charges of psychiatric care. People love me even more. Why is this lack of people in Karif? I don't understand this. Did I, is, did I turn off my bloody... It's still on. I'm just gonna keep going. There's nothing we need to do. I mean, we're still profiting everywhere. I mean, money is still coming in so fast. I literally cannot put any money anywhere else. Here, have some more. <laughs> have some more income. The 500 invested. I don't have to resign, because I was told last episode that I wouldn't have to resign. Oh, hello! Some PLF has finally turned up. Oh, because you were, the, you were my Sam site. You're the Sam that I had that got angry because I'm moving people around. Okay, no, we've moved them. They're happy they've moved, so we can turn that off now. We've got plenty of spare people. Stop the forced relocation. Those things are being generated. Those workers are being invented out of nowhere because it's still 24, 430. Those things are being invented, which means it's a very powerful tool. If that costs me one loyalty to get essentially, like, we were at, what, minus three to get 10 workers out? Uh, Sam, literally the most useless thing in the world. Um... Kill the Sam units, please. I mean, Sam unit. I mean, it, it, it could destroy my airborne, which I'm thankful it wasn't anywhere nearby. But intelligence officers, no indication of any, of any BLM base, BLF base. <laughs> BLM base. Actually, yeah, well, Harry from Nebuchadnezzar is seeking to defect to Basenji. He seems to have detailed knowledge about the Basenji liberation front operations on both sides of the border. Sure, I mean, we can take the hit with Kalshara and get the intelligence, and they're not using any of it. We fought the monarchy for a promise of a better life for all Basenji citizens, only to throw it all away by electing a despot like you. Where is this coming from, game? No. This ends now. 
The Basenji Liberation Front will never capitulate to your tyranny. We will continue to fight your regime until the needs of all the people, regardless of wealth, politics, or ethnicity, are heard. This makes zero sense. Absolutely no sense whatsoever. Excellency, I'm getting reports of something difficult to believe. Are you sure you logged out of your computer, Yusuf? It looks like they stole some of our most secret blueprints. Oh my god. You are not the only ones with a bipedal walking tank. Long live the Basenji Liberation Front! Is even happening? I have no idea. That fortress must be where their command structure is operating from, Excellency. <laughs> we will need to both destroy so that structure and destroy that enemy mech if we are going to end this war today. What is even happening? Okay, you destroy that. Sure, I get that. Are there any more BLF around the map? No, there aren't. Okay, cool. There are no more BLF around the map, as far as I can tell. Glorious leader. I'm gonna move on. Right. Any indication at all? Hang on. Uh, where's my intelligence officer? If you're gonna start BSing stuff with me, like I understand that maybe one person, my citizenship is not empty. There's no, there's no, I can't put anyone there. It's kind of clever that they have done it so it's that case that there, but, um. Okay, armor. Unfortunately, I've got no favors with the military, so I can't do anything about that. Um, move up there. I can't upgrade my troops. Airborne. Airborne. Armor up there. Start moving our troops up. But what is happening? I haven't again. Not a clue. Not a clue. Like I understand that if they'd gone like the people love you, it's an overwhelming vote. But one guy is annoyed. But like that, that guy's like speech is out of nowhere. It's so disconnected to anything I've seen before. Mech is on the move. Understandable. Um, airborne, move up. Infantry, move up. Airborne, actually, it's, yeah, these things all need to start being visible on the map because I need to make sure I move them all. Every single military unit needs to be needs to be needs to be moved and spot checked. Armor. Um, armor, infantry, infantry, airborne, infantry, armor over there. Is it, does that make it, does that, does it have an, does it have an American flag? I didn't, I missed that if it did. Like, I understand that if, if like, if it was like, they'd gone, okay, well, the Americans are supporting the BLF to get you out. That I understand. That would make sense within the context of this. But it's like that speech is so out of nowhere. Like that, that does, does not reflect at all what's happened in the country. This is just like no matter what happens, if you get to this tier, that's exact. It's, it's the same message every time. That means that in essence, that message would have been true if I'd been a complete and total autocrat. Or not like, oh, regardless of ethnicity, are you kidding me? Literally, I cannot even change Karif Rice anymore because they've they voted for self. Um, they voted their own. Um, their own. Self-determination. Right. I could probably start using my movement speeds. So they're going to hit my, my, my mine. A van loaded with explosives was detonated in a crowded mug, um, marketplace in Kaifahal. 36 people were injured and 41 were in 36 people killed, 41 injured. No one cleared responsibility. But the Russian involvement is suspected because of Russia? Well, Russia's allied to me. That makes no sense either. 
new task force and downward response. I need more units anyway. Kaifal is Kaifal is the one that is in Karif. Kaifal's down here. Excellency. Move up there. The Kaifal is where? Kaifal's here. Kaifal's actually close by. But no, you spawned them. Where did you spawn them? You spawned them there. Excellency. Yeah, you have to go around, don't you? Yeah, fine. We'll start. Just we'll start you moving around then. So is it, is it so, like if it's as if like yeah they get like fair enough. I understand. Yeah, it's a, it's supported by the U.S. They're supported by the U.S. Which might mean if they're supported by the U.S. Does that mean my uh, psychological warfare works out? Infantry used to deliver more damage to cycle when it's supported by the uh, that. Excellency. I'm using some of these points because there's some points we need to use. Excellency. You'll lose two units there. I'm not going to do that now. You. Excellency. You will all die if that happens. There's no point. I mean, we have to get the first. If you don't get the first hit in, there's no point. Excellent. You have to get the first hit in. Uh, you move up to there. You move up to there. You move up to there. As uh, the armor, infantry's over there. You move up there. Airborne's. You've already used your. Okay, fine, you're taking a while. Excellency. You move yeah, you're moving already. You move up as well. Okay, so you do have those you are backed by the US, which makes sense. Like at some point, I'd like the game to make Warrior Five or not to make Warrior Five mercenaries. What do you say, chat? <laughs> it was Susu who still has to move. The armor still has to move. So just move a little bit. Don't move too much. And infantry Excellency. move to there. On our way. Like I think. Oh my God! Do we just? Please don't get me. I can do this. Please don't tell me I can destroy this bridge and... Can I go over the water with my airborne troops? I can go over the... Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me right now? Because the plan is, I could... It looks like I could do is destroy the bridge. The BLF leader can't leave the area, the area anymore. Just can't leave the area. At which point, I move the airborne units out to sea and basically attack the base from the sea. Uh, I've got my defenses and attack weapons. We have ASMs online. Recon training for increased infantry sight range. That's fine. We still got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Fine. So I'm, 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 I'm. Excellency, university officials are requesting permission to divert large quantities of power in order to create a particle accelerator that is approaching completion. I don't know why they wouldn't check it with this poor starting construction, but if they are successful, mankind's understanding of fundamental forces of the universe may improve. Go for it. The civil war in Basenji is entering a new and even more dangerous phase. Government forces are besieged by a growing number of rebel fighters flooding in from neighboring countries. In Majimura, the glorious leader is committing to send additional troops to the front lines and promises to neutralize enemy encampments hiding in the mountain regions. Are there? Yes. My intelligence officers give me no indication that's the case. Okay, can, can you shoot this thing? You will you will die entirely. Okay, infantry. Excellency. You will get obliterated, but for the glory of Basenji. 
I rebuilt it again. Okay, the last one. See, it's build. We're building more. We're building more, more, more airborne. Simply because airborne can get there faster. He keeps saying I'll get like friend, like like I'll get like BLF people from across the map, but I haven't seen no indication of this. Um, you're there. You're there. What happens if I destroy the road now? Genuine question. What are you? You are just your mortar units, which means my air force can take care of you. Yeah, I've already been built. It's still up. Uh, my, my intelligence building is already up. Like my intelligence officers, there's like no sign of anything anywhere. The mountains are up here. There's no sign of anything over there. Airborne. You would 100% die completely. How much damage will you actually do to this? Is it guaranteed just one? Yes, guaranteed just the one. So, you are currently at low health. You also move up. Airborne. That's down. There. Okay, we will move a little bit forward. Not all the way forward, because I know how far you can reach. But I think it's appropriate that the last shot comes from me. If I can make it that way, I will make it that way. So in the meantime, because if I can get the last shot coming from me, then the airborne is free to go over there and start harassing a lot of the troops. Friendly units moving. Enemies plotting. Actually, faith leaders in Saba are calling you to publicly condemn a heretical branch of the old ways. They claim this branch has adopted a perverted interpretation of the text to justify their participation in taboo acts. Sure thing, consider them condemned. You don't get to use religion as an excuse for doing bad things. Now, can I do this? Yes, that'll kill you off. Screw you, Minister Bilal. Railgun time. Oh, flamethrower time, apparently. Okay, you're down. In the meantime... Move those up there. Like, I understand, given the nature of this game as a roguelike, and you have to keep going back, at some point, something's gonna happen to get me killed. I understand that. The way this game functions as a roguelike is that you get killed at some point and you wake up back at your election day. That's the whole point of the game. So, I'm fine with, like, everything happens, and then maybe suddenly Yusuf pulls a gun on me. That is silly and stupid, make, but it's, it's amusing. This is just weird. If they acknowledge that this is, like, this is a complete, like, ruse, I'll, like, like okay, that, that, that makes sense to me. Other than that, it's a bit weird. I just really, they're on the border. Like, if that thing can generally spawn anywhere on the map, 
It picked the worst place to spawn. Like, really. Because it can only spawn units adjacent to it, I think. Hey, look, it's the Mortar team. Shoot the Mortar team, guys. Of course, you know, they just kill, kill and just go and deal with the mortar team. What is my range, by the by? We'll find out in due course. Because now you can move up. Because if I put the if I put the if I put the great leader here, and then the helicopter there and there, it can't spawn units anymore unless it starts to spawn helicopters here. In which case, uh, uh buddy, really? Really? I specifically told you to attack the mortar unit, and you decided to like, you know what? Nah, I'm fine. <sighs> fine, whatever. I put you away. Uh, you're still moving, aren't you? It'll take you a year and a half to get there, but sure, you get moving. Excellent. That's still moving over. Actually, can can you? How far can you move this turn? You can move to within range of the within range of the mortars. On our way. Fine. Have it your way. Intelligence officer. Still no BLF bases. They hacked your mech. This is how you're gonna die. Eh, possibly. Excellency. Nope, they're not in threat range. They, it would say if they're in threat range. They're not even in threat range. I'll take maybe one damage from the mech, and that's pretty much it. Intentions are moving around, my infantry is moving up. Minister Adad was recorded backstage for an interview on Zara Live, making derogatory comments, offensive comments about Kar Karifis. Oh. Piss off. He's refused to apologize. You're the dead one, right? Yeah, you're like, you're actually angry at me now. You're. you're apparently, you're content with my leadership. Racist. And kill them, please. Alright. You. Attack these ones, please. You have a flamethrower. Good. Excellency. That hurt. It did two damage there. Uh, what I want to do is basically you move up that square. You move up that square. You move up that, uh, that square. There are no available squares beside this place at the moment. And that makes sense now. That number now makes sense. Helicopters are, are unable to attack SAM units because SAM units automatically attack helicopters that fly into range. Excellency. In fact, you know, hang on. move back a bit. Excellency. You can stand over there. On our way. Just in case some shenanigans happen. Anything else happening to do? We've got plenty, 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 plenty. We've got plenty of food. That's not a problem. Come on. Liberal protesters are demanding a reform to prison welfare in Basenji. Currently, prisons have very few rights. They are calling for access to nutritious meals, education programs, and visitation rights, of course. Right, okay. 
Shoot, please. Shoot, please. On our way. Oh, they're attacking back, do they? Oh, in which case, move back, please. That makes sense. Okay, if they attack back, that is problematic, but okay, we can deal. Um, you move as far as you can and then attack from outside counter fire range. Excellency. Uh, okay, what else do we have over here? Infantries. Move up. Infantry. Excellency. Move up. There was more infantry somewhere, wasn't there? Journalist, intelligence officer, infantry, infantry, surveyor, cleric. It was the infantry up here. These are the two infantries left, and there's the infantry over there. Excellency. 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 And you move away again, just because I am a little bit of a coward. So we'll take the first. We'll take the. We'll take the the, the kill shot. Other than that, we'll steer clear of any potential damage. Again, I imagine on a, on a harder difficulty setting, this would have been more threatening. Excellent. The mayor of Maljimara has requested a pipeline be constructed to the Bishara River to provide sufficient drinking water and power for the growing population. This will create water shortages for rural villages in Kashyyyk. Nah. Us again, right. You attack from there, because I know you can. Oh, one left. Okay, uh, infantry out the way. Glorious leader, get the kill, please. In before they see me coming a mile away and this getting the kill causes an issue. You're angry with me. Okay, well, we'll get you a... Never mind, that happened. Excellency, have you heard the news? Turning our eyes to the Middle East, we are receiving reports that all across Basenji, rebels are surrendering to the Basenji National Defense Force. People are celebrating in the streets as all signs point to a definitive conclusion to the third Basenji. That wasn't the civil war. A statement is expected from the glorious leader announcing an end to hostilities. <coughs> Sabria. <laughs> oh, Sabria. I keep calling her Sophia. I apologize. Years ago, you were handed an impossible situation. And here we are, a nation with a secure future. Foreign powers will always try to interfere with our affairs. Our people will always have difficult demands. And there are no guarantees that others won't try to capitalize on that which divides us. But you have demonstrated with your leadership. That's amazing, Dante. It's, it's, it's fantastic, and I love it. Sophia, I love every second of it. I think the glorious leader has earned some rest, while you and I have work to do. Raise your shovel high. I will push the cart. We'll build glory forever. Inspired by stalwart hearts. Bring us the king. Yes! Bring us the rope, bind his hands, bind his feet, throw his body into the sea, and our people shall be free. Hey! I believe those were lines from the National Anthem. Raise your shovel high, I believe it's a line from the second verse of the National Anthem. In. This is, I don't really think we need books wherever we're going. I've read all the Harry Potters. <laughs> Ooh, you're a very well educated man. I wonder when these things actually happen. She has become their queen. And she I has become say, their queen. I don't have words, <laughs> but uh, come yeah. visit us. Ma Today, the foreign minute below. The Senji is strolling up. Sorry. Well, it has its ups and downs, really, doesn't it? <laughs> nuclear. Not nuclear. Did I say nuclear? From the Nuclear Non Progressive Liberation Treaty. Machine Mara. Do, 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 do. Machine Mara. There's a flag there. Machine Mara. I love the acting in this. It is perfectly. Um, it captures the campness of Red Alert so beautifully well. We'll 
It was so fantastic. It's beautiful. It's, 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 like, it's like that on purpose, and you can tell. You can tell by the state of the, the sense of humor of the whole game. That's what they were going for. And it was like, like, I loved the end. The end was very, very good. It's just that really weird bit after the election where it, they act as if it's a massive civil war. Death to our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the, the, all they needed. Again, the, the reported death of Adnan Bilal, who has become the face of the Basenji Liberation Front, has broken the morale of the rebel movement and sowed division within its remaining leadership. While many sympathizers will hold Bilal as a martyr for decades to come, the BLF victory has never looked more unlikely. Regional actors previously invested in orchestrating your removal from power are learning to adapt to Basenji as a liberated and powerful democracy. Basenji has now survived three violent revolutions over the past 20 years, and there is an overwhelming consensus, both domestically and internationally, that it, can, it, that it cannot survive another. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission is established that follows Rwandan model of education, self-expression and forgiveness. It is largely effective, and while no one government can be all things to all people, the appetite of violence for Basenji has largely abated. A new generation of political activists is empowered to instead pursue change through advocacy and education. Decades of ethnic strife cannot be undone swiftly, but your government has made a great progress towards establishing new rights and freedoms for the Karifi. I made them... I had them vote for independence. And the passion is there among the youngest of Basenji to push forward toward equality. The culture of Basenji is quickly transforming into one of welcomeness and diversity, and those who resist this social change are being drowned out by those who welcome it. Karifi rights, above all else, will be the defining issue of the next federal election. Like, the only issue I had was with those previous videos assuming that the Civil War was a massive one, rather than literally one building, one mech, and two mortar units. <laughs> the 97% approval rates differ, but they're going, yeah, I think they're not something, they, they, they have not have as many nitty gritty um, stuff as approval, but hey, as a whole, I've loved it. How, how you will be remembered. Liberal religion. If it goes to. Why? Like, I don't mind. This means nothing to me. I was expecting to be, I guess by the end, everybody loved me, but it's just still really weird. Like, I guess by the end, because this doesn't matter, I, 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 there are a lot more choices about pissing off the religious people than there are about pleasing the secular people. The secular uh, group is only really affected sometimes on religious questions, because sometimes saying no to religious things annoys the religious group, but doesn't really please the secular group. Like, the seculars, they don't care. It's all about the... So maybe that could be the reason. But this feels like... The amount of time I put into secular education should have pushed that way down, firstly. Anyway. The history of the Nemo administration. It's just like we had, like, okay, so... Basenji approval, Karifi approval. So the Karifi... This... Our special agents have gained information about something that could change the history of humanity. Hey, Malachi with the resub. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You come here at the at the at my at the end of my administration. See, this is the period which I call like the um the the period of racism, in where this this, this is the period of social change, right? When I started massively improving um uh Karifi rights. And it took a while for the Basenji to come around to actually know. At, at about this point, the Basenji are actually know, okay, dude, justice for all. And at which point, the Karifi and the Basenji are pretty much equal. There are very few divisions backwards and forwards here. I think here must have been the uh, where the election was. Uh, I must have... Dis I must have uh, um, Ponzi scheme... Karifi referendum today. So the, yeah, the Karifi referendum goes through and then their approval just skyrockets. United Nations national ratings. Prosperity. You know, I'll take that. Retired. I'll take that. I'll take it being in the whole world, being the 15th most prosperous country, being the 17th most environmentally conscious country. I want to know who exactly is above that. Uh, the the 12th safest country in the world. 
good healthcare. I mean, being like there is pretty okay for all of it, I think. I'll, I'll take that. For a small country. Months in power. Oops. I missed to unlock. And that's how that works. So it's, it's, it's how long you are in power multiplied by the difficulty modifier. Okay, so that's how that functions. Fair enough. The first re-election, receive an additional free policy for every future playthrough. Receive an additional 200 bucks for every next for the next playthrough and receive an additional future free policy for every future playthrough. So we got a new minister. So we have In today's news. Basenji's head of state revealed plans to construct the world's largest space-based equestrian racetrack. The participation of Western aerospace firms seems likely, but Basenji has yet to put a single horse into stable orbit. <laughs> that was a stretch. That was a stretch. Who do we unlock? Kais Wakhed. Kais Wakhed started his career working with Sanji's bauxite mines, which has been amusing because he had none. He would later go on to become an advocate and activist for the unionization of labor returns. Marxist, research production in buildings located in the minister's home province is decreased 100%, but buildings and built in the minister's home province produce and consume an extra worker. Not sure that's... I'm not entirely sure that's Marxism. Beric can probably enlighten me on this. Extra workers and more production. Intriguing. I'm not going to start a new one now, but just so you can see what the settings were. Uh, explain cryptocurrency. I was distracted. Okay. God. You're like me. See, this is, the, this is the new the new cabinet minister we got. Kais Wakhead. How do you want to pronounce it? And his 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 thing is that he's a Marxist, supposedly. But that means resource production in buildings located in the minister's home province is increased by 150%, but buildings built in the minister's home province consume an extra worker. Which, to be fair, is one hell of a downside. I wonder if it's... I wonder if it's... Is his home... Is this home um, one like random? Like that doesn't sound like Marxism to me was the point I was making. Maybe I'm incorrect about this fact. At least I don't see how Marxism applies to, okay, but everyone has to have an extra worker, but you just make more things. That seems like a very big oversimplification, if anything. Home province thing doesn't make sense, but the extra work is not outrageous. Extra work. Okay. Less work per worker. Hmm. Yes, technically every worker is doing 75% work to give me 150%. That's also a very big downside because worker management is important. Which means, and by the end of it, like we had a lot of buildings. Every every province would have would have had a lot of buildings in it. If every building needed an extra worker say that every by provinces had maybe 20 buildings in them by the end which means that every province would have needed 20 extra workers which means that Banifa could have taken it and Karif could have taken it for a long time and so could uh, Kashyyyk but Rumai and Saba could not take an extra 20 workers they were suffering per worker at that point anyway um if I wanted to go back into this right um there you go this is the, this, this this is this is the uh what you can pick stuff. So, 134% increases the minister expectations and you have to make them satisfied. So the only research went satisfied rather than the normal one. Because we had, what did we had? We had we were, were we normal everywhere? We had that there. What was 100%? What is 100%? Is it that one, maybe? It must have been that, surely. Be you know, hang on. We were definitely there. 
Were we there? We might have been there, I think. I can see this would be a lot harder. Okay, difficult to please ministers. Carissa supports declines over time. Journalists are expensive. That's true. That was definitely true. Um, if you had that there, then having that, for example, being there, have... Receives decline over time. That was... That felt like it was true, but maybe it wasn't. BLF exists. The BLF trains weren't... I can see that being a thing, like having loads of stuff. I can see that being a problem. It could have gone as low as 58%, so we were at 100. Gentle start, all ministers available, all ministries start only one favor, anything can happen. That wasn't... We had that. We had that was definitely on. That was on the first time. Because oh, because if you start if you start with this off, you start with seven action points per turn. The the shortage of uh, if the shortage in the game is number of workers, then yeah, that could be a bad downside. Yeah, depending on what. Hang on, sorry, gentle start. I'm not going to play this through. This is not going to get played through. This is not getting played through. Just be aware of this. I just want to see where does the new guy come from, if I get to see where he comes from. Maybe because I got a, I, picked, I picked super easy, so I'm not... I think 100% is too easy. Yeah, I skipped introduction. Right, so where do you come from? You come from... You come from the same place as this guy comes from, right? Yeah, you come from you come from Kashyyyk. Which, to be fair, could have um, could have by the end of the game, it could have definitely. Oh my god! I'm gonna start with four ministers, with three ministers. Holy crap! Um, Liberal, secular, whatever. Okay, so, uh, oh, okay. This only shows what he can play. Uh, he can be finance, justice, or development. <laughs> put him here. Put a Marxist in charge of finance. Do that. Uh, you were finance before. I find that yeah, you can't be citizen. You are not allowed to be citizenship because that would be weird. Um, that would be people would outrage for that. Um. He can be finance as well. So, upgrades for his department only cast favors, never cash. Sure, put you there. So you can only be de you can be developed if you, if you are. That is actually very beneficial because the starting with three extra favors is very helpful. Um. What could you have been? That's also beneficial. That also works, but who there? Um, Slaban's defense wasn't too bad. Oh, you get to pick which four happen. Okay, that's, that makes sense. Uh, and what's the map look like this time? Yeah, the map's changed slightly. Banif is now big. Saba's up there. Karik's Rumai, Rumai is now swapped. Rumai is now on the on the sea, and there's lots of, it's a very very small region. Banif is massive. Karif is massive. Rumai is now at the sea. Karik is now land based. I mean, uh, we still we have no we have one river still. We only have one river still. Uh, there's still a reserve over here, but I don't think we can put a a dam on that river. Anyway, uh, main menu. You can't retire, but it's fine because it's, it's a new game next time anyway. But yeah, folks, that was uh, Rogue State Revolution. I'm not gonna start a new run right now. We might come back to it later. Uh, later on, <laughs> there's the mech there. Um, mech there. The machine skulls there. The 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 re-election. Congratulations there. Oh, 
I genuinely quite enjoyed that. I hope you liked it as well. Um, because I'll come back to it in the future, see what it's like. We'll play a bit harder next time. If we ever, if, when we come back to this, slash if we come back to this, we'll play a little bit larger next time. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed that. It's a very different game to to, to Suzerain. I had the Fantastic Medusa Fixed Horses. Nice. We can go read Medusa then. I know we're starting. I know we're ending kind of early. If I if if this had ended like 45 minutes ago, I'd, I'd switch and play something else. But I'm not going to play something for just half an hour. We can have an early Friday night. Let's see. Let's uh, switch to this real quick. Bam, bam, bam. Um. Right. Let's see who who is who is streaming. Is it just Dusa? Dusa or Shogun? I think it was Professor Rain. This is entertaining. It's a, it's a very different kind of game. It's a very different kind of game. I think Susan Rain is definitely up more is definitely up your alley more than it is up mine. Like I like watching you play Susan Rain. I don't think I would have had the same appreciation for Susan Rain that you do for the things that happen within it and the and the the consequences and the parallels. I think you definitely get more out of it, and it's more interesting for me to watch you play that and hear your stories than it is for that it would have been for me to play it myself. Um, yeah. So I guess just just Shogun or Dusa, and I guess Dusa started. I think his run doesn't have to play. It does help. There are games that definitely benefit from 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 external knowledge. I definitely think that games like those, and it's like, for example, I think, um, if you don't know if you know the YouTuber, but there's a YouTuber called Many a True Nerd, um, which is technically supposed to be like an entire brand with like multiple people part of it, but it's literally just John. And John is a historian, and John did a lot of Roman history and like history from way back then. And so John's, John's playthrough of like Total War Rome is really good. Because a lot of the episodes on YouTube are basically him going on tangents about how actually how 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 accurate and how it was actually done or how this and sort of expanding upon that. As a side note, Many True Nerd is also ridiculously good at Fallout, and does a lot of runs of Fallout of several things. Like he's done, for example, a Fallout New Vegas run where he has to kill everybody because New Vegas allows you to kill anybody. He did, a, he did a playthrough where he has to kill every single thing he comes across. Every single thing he comes across. Um, he's also done runs of Fallout 3, 4, and New Vegas where he's not allowed to heal at all. He uses mods to stop any kind of passive healing. He's not allowed to consume any healing items. And he basically has to make through, through the entire game without healing at all. Um, those are very good runs as well. Um, it's very interesting to see the like, runs of like of challenge runs because he knows those games inside and out especially like fallout 4, 4 3 and new vegas because he's played those longer but also fallout 4 to an insane degree um but yeah thank you very much everyone for hopping by i know it was a bit shorter than usual uh we'll carry on with something else tomorrow i'm not sure what and i'll be back on monday with something else <laughs> I, i've hit that horrible time where now i start thinking of new things to play and i know what they are i have an idea what they are i just need to sit down and like Pick. Hey, it's clear schedule times. Like, oh god, I know that Wednesdays is still Wildermyth. Um, I don't think I want to go too much too fast in Wildermyth, but it's now good at times like gonna, what am I playing next? What am I gonna do? It happens every time. Every time I finish a series on YouTube, every time I finish a stream game, I was like, oh god, now what am I playing? Oh god, why? Situation. Um Cause like there are games I would love to play, but it's like are there games that you would like? <laughs> That's the big question as well. Before I didn't used to care, but now there's enough of you that I should probably pay attention. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm going to hop off now. I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to do some rain dances here. And... Um, put the aliens in the Polish screen? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. If, if you like, I'll put it, I'll put it on the... On the um, I'll put it on the... The Nemo Not section of the Discord. The sub section of the... Slub slash Patreon section of the Discord. I'll, I'll, I'll pick some things. But yeah, so let's, let's go raid Dusa. Uh, I just need to remember how this is spelled. There's, there's two S's in it for some reason. Medusa. What's it? I was going to do Medusa Rays, but it's not Medusa Slays. There's actually four S's. Medusa Slays. Anyway, go stand next Medusa. Be, behave. Take care of yourselves. 
and I'll catch you all tomorrow for something, question mark. Have a good one, folks. Thank you again for all the rest subs, and back for the raid, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.